everyone, welcome back to my next vlog. My name is Lailan Bento and I am a real estate broker born and raised here on the Big Island in Hawaii. And today we're going to be discussing um, what it's like going through an escrow here in Hawaii and what to expect with all the contingencies and working with the lender, escrow, and me. And once we open escrow, we have the title and escrow company working on the title report, the deed, um, going through the title to see if there's any liens, um, sending the lender, if there is financing involved, their closing um, costs so the lender's able to add in escrow's closing costs, lending's clo the lender's closing costs, and submit that over to the buyer. And so escrow's doing their part. Um, my part is to make sure we're going through all the contingencies. So we're going to be hiring a property inspector, a surveyor, reviewing, you know, say condo docs or subdivision documents. Um, and the buyer is also going to be hiring an appraiser. So there's all these different contingencies. And so what I like to do is as soon as we open escrow, um, our team will send you an escrow timeline. And so there are all these due dates that keeps us all on the same page of what's coming up next and the next um, step in the escrow to make sure that it's as smooth as possible. Of course, you do have a little bit of hiccups here and there, but for the most part, we can just, you know, the timeline does give a clear picture of all the steps it takes. Um, and I always tell people the first two weeks of any escrow, it's a lot of paperwork. And then after that, it's almost like crickets because we're waiting for the lender to process the loan, the home to be appraised. And so I always tell buyers, as soon as we get into escrow, the first two weeks, you know, you're going to feel like you're reading all this documentation, but just to hang on because after two weeks, it's smooth sailing after that usually. Um, and so once we go through all of the contingencies, um, escrow will hire either a mobile notary, especially now during COVID, um, to either go to your home or your office for you to sign all your closing documents, or they will set up an appointment for you to go into the escrow company um, to sign closing documents. Once you sign closing documents, what is a little different here, um, those closing documents will go back to the bank and also back to here to Hawaii to the escrow company. It's either FedEx overnight usually. And um, then that will be the next day it's mailed out and the bank then puts the money into escrow, you know, for your loan or if you're a cash buyer, you wire your funds into escrow. And this is a little bit of a different part with Hawaii. We have a good funds law. So once all closing documents are signed, money is put into escrow, that money has to stay in that escrow account two days prior to closing. And Hawaii does have what's called a good funds law, and that is where the money has to sit once it's in escrow for two days before closing. So once the money sits for two days, and you know, two days later, after that money gets put in, we can um, go ahead and close, record, you get your keys. So that just gives you an overview of what it's like going through an escrow here in Hawaii. And stay tuned for my next vlog, which would be listing a luxury property here in Hawaii and what that would entail from professional photos, videos, and the importance of staging, especially on a luxury home. So stay tuned and thank you and have a great week, everyone.